I think we're still in the very infancy stages of uh, understanding the mechanisms of action behind the interventions, the causes of the disease in and of itself, and that lack of awareness of mechanisms and disease state has made it's still a bit of a black magic that's taking place in the care of these patients. And magic is never very good in a scientific endeavor like medicine. And it's not until we do the hard work behind the science to demonstrate these linkages that we begin to really see policy changes that we can all get behind and agree are valuable and worthwhile. As long as we have to have faith in our treatments, we're never going to get the kind of policy decisions we need. So investment in the science and understanding those mechanisms of action is critical at this stage of the disease treatment. Absolutely, and I think with uh, Professor Rubino here and the whole commitment in the diabetes space, that was our first major win. Surgeons saw the impact of their operations on diabetes. It came as a bit of a surprise for us, but when we saw that impact, we started doing the hard work behind it. And some of the first level one uh, randomized control trial evidence to come out of that understanding was done in the Cleveland Clinic. It was sponsored by Ethicon and the surgery at the time, and it's really revolutionized and brought the kind of scientific light onto the, uh, the disease state. I think there's a number of other disease states that we will see similar level one type evidence start to emerge. Sleep apnea, cardiovascular disease, and certainly some cancers are going to start to see that link between obesity, the underlying disease state, and its effect on these, uh, these uh, non-weight related diseases.